Well, when you were nine years old, were you watching movies? Were you drawn to movies when you were very young? Um, <laughs> yeah, I, wa I, I was. Uh, and I, d I definitely have moments in my life where I discovered a film. Um, and it, the language of the film itself spoke to me mm -hmm. in a way where uh, as, as if someone came up to you and started speaking a, a language you've never heard but you understood and it was able to express things. Mm that uh, the language you knew could not. And amongst these films were um, Pawn Broker, mm -hmm. um, the uh, PBS when I was about 13 years old. Um, I don't know why I was watching it, but Salesman by the Maisels yeah. came on. Yes. Um, it's quite a film. I incredible both mm. both of these films yeah. uh you know maybe back to the the whole quiet thing it, the salesman i remember the, you know the way it opens up i'd never seen a documentary like this i'd never seen anything by the Maisels. i didn't know who they were or what i was looking at mm. but you know it begins with you know a, a bible salesman it's 1966 black and white and we follow this guy like into a house and having watched a lot of TV, there's a, just a natural sense, like an expectation about an explanation is coming, you know, either a voiceover or something was going to occur to explain what we were looking at. Yeah. And when that did not happen, I remember <coughs> just leaning in and realizing that it wasn't going to explain it. Mm because it was all right there. Mm. But somehow in the film itself, you felt the presence, you know, you felt the consciousness of the film. I felt like I was inside somebody's head. Mm. This is how I felt about Kubrick's films too. Mm. Remember seeing the birds also when I was young and feeling that way too. Mm. I mean, part of what's so eerie about that film is is the mind of that film itself. You know, the way it, it doesn't it's tell a story, it the way it observes the story. Yeah. And who's, a like what is this mind I'm trapped inside observing this yeah. thing? It's so disconcerting.